Hey everyone, I'm Angie Johnson. I am a Platinum Premier and Pinnacle, and I'm really excited to talk to you tonight about um, becoming a new consultant, our new consultant training. So welcome to all of you who have recently joined Perfectly Posh and are a new consultant. And also some of you may just be here for a refresher course. So welcome to all of you as well. So I want to kind of just um, go over some things that will be helpful for you when you're first getting started with Perfectly Posh or maybe if you're relaunching your business. Um, maybe some of you have been with us for a while, but you're just now getting started. So wherever you're at, uh, this is going to be a great thing for you to get out there and really start working your posh business. So if you, when you very first sign up, uh, shortly after, you should be getting a welcome email. And in that welcome email, it is going to give you links to get to get you started. So it's going to give you a link to the, the virtual office and talk to you about Posh Portal and also um, show you how to join Posh Talk. So the first thing you're going to want to do is look at that email. It's also going to have your sponsors information on there so you should know who your upline is and I'm sure that they will be reaching out to you as well. Now you're going to want to go into your virtual office because it's going to be able to, you're going to be able to start Posh Academy. So on the Posh Academy, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. It is going to set you up for so much success because it's going to walk you through everything day by day. It's going to break things down into little steps that are going to give you things to do every day to make this not seem so overwhelming because starting a new business is exciting, but it can also be a little overwhelming if you try to do too many things at once. So I highly recommend doing the Posh Academy and doing just a couple videos at a time. You know, if you want to jump ahead a little bit and get ahead a little bit, that's okay, but don't feel like you have to be one of these people that jump in and do maybe the first 30 days in the first day. You don't want to get over overwhelmed. So I say to start with day one, take it a day at a time if you can. If you want to jump a little bit ahead, okay. But just don't try to do everything at once and get too overwhelmed. So starting on the Posh Academy, it's going to take you through the essentials of those things that you need to get started. It's going to show you how to get into your virtual office and it's going to show you how to share your website. It's going to show you how to place your orders and all of those kind of basic things that you're going to want to know when you're first getting started. So definitely, definitely do the Posh Academy. Um, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more later when um, I quickly go through the polka dot guide, but there are huge advantages to doing this besides setting you up for success. You can also earn free stuff. So who doesn't love that, right? So get in the Posh Academy. If you want to be successful, that's the best place to start. So the next thing you're going to want to do, um, if your upline hasn't already done it for you, is reach out to them and ask about making sure that you're in your team page. Most uplines will go ahead and add you, but if for some reason they have not, definitely ask them about that. You want to get in a team page and make sure that you have that support system. Now for some of you, you may be added to a couple different team pages or a team page and a company page, and your upline will help you learn the difference between what all of those pages are. I love having the support of a team page. That's definitely something you're going to want because you can get in there. You'll get connected with other consultants. It's a place where you can ask questions. It's a place where you can get ideas. It's a place where you'll hear from your premier leader and get support. So definitely make sure you're in one of those team pages. Um, there's also a link for you to request to join Posh Talk. Now that's also one that your upline can add you to as well. Um, I know I personally add my new team members to that for them. Um, but if for some reason you have not, ask your upline about that or request to be added. Um, you'll probably get added quicker if you have your upline do that for you. Um, so just ask her to, to get you added in there. And then um, also in your virtual office, you will be able to locate all of your uplines. So you'll have someone who you signed up directly under, and then under your upline tabs, you'll see who all of your premier leaders are in your upline. So if for some reason you need to reach out to your premier leader, you will know who they are as well. Okay, so one of the other 
big tips that I want to give you when you're first getting started. Now, some of you may have already been a customer, so maybe you already have this wonderful little tool, our posh paper. So maybe you already have one of these before you signed up. Maybe the person that signed you up had, has gotten one to you, um, but maybe you don't have one yet. Maybe you won't have an actual paper copy until your kit gets here. And your kit should arrive to you fairly quickly, um, usually within a few days to a week. So you will have that soon, but I want to give you some things that you can be doing before that kit comes so that you can get going from day one. So we already talked about making sure that you look for that welcome email and that you get into the virtual office and that you get in there and start doing that Posh Academy. That is not something you need to wait until you get your kit for. So go ahead and start doing that as soon as you possibly can because that's going to get you going before that kit gets there. Now if you have access to a Posh Paper, if you can't get a paper copy either from your upline or you don't have one, you weren't already a customer or anything like that, there is a PDF version that you can um, you can look up online and you can go through it that way. And I will post the link to that in the comment section of this video so that you'll be able to find that easily. The Posh Paper is such a huge tool when you're first getting started. When you get a couple extra copies, what I do when I first got started and every time a new catalog comes out, I keep one in several different places so whenever I have a few extra minutes, I can pick it up and I can read through things and I can always be learning. Keep one on your desk if you have one, keep one in your car, keep one on your coffee table, heck, even keep one in your bathroom because you never know, right? You'll have a few extra minutes to check out, study up on a few things, right? <laughs> so go through your posh paper and actually read it. Read it from cover to cover. So many great information and on all of our ingredients and everything in here. Get to know about the ingredients. Get to know what's in your paper. Get to know where the products are. When you go out and you start sharing this posh paper with people when you're doing events or parties or anytime you're out sharing a catalog, it is also always going to be helpful if you know what's in this catalog and if you kind of know your way around it. Every time someone asks you about something, you don't want to have to kind of like fumble and fumble and fumble. So the more familiar you get with your catalog, then the more comfortable you're going to feel. That being said, don't feel like you have to know it all to get out there and start sharing. That's not what I'm saying. Always be learning, but don't be afraid to get out there and start sharing with everyone. So when you're first new and you're first getting started, people are not going to expect you to know all the answers right away because they know you're new and that's okay. Tell them you'll find the answer. You'll help find the answer for them or you'll ask someone that knows the answer and that you'll get back to them. Perfectly acceptable. It's always better to tell them that you're not sure and that you'll check and to get an answer for you for them than to just throw something out there and then them to find out later that that's not true. So study your posh paper. That is a huge resource. So these are some things that you can be doing before your kit arrives. Studying your posh paper or studying the online version if you don't have one. Getting in the virtual office and doing your academy. Getting involved in your team page. And of course you're going to want to work with your upline. They will help you with this. And then, um, also your premier can help you in your team page. But you want to make sure that you make an announcement to everyone so that they all know that you're posh. No one's going to be able to support your business if they don't know you have one. So what I like to have my new team members do is to make an announcement on Facebook. Uh, especially if you're really big with social media, you can make an, an, an announcement on Facebook, one on Instagram, any of the social media channels that you use. And what I like to do is make it fun. So put on a face mask or something. If you don't have, you haven't ha gotten your kit yet, maybe you have a sample. Um, maybe you don't have anything yet from your upline, then that's okay. Um, you can just do a cute picture, whatever you can get, okay? And you want to announce, you could do a really excited face like, ah, I'm so excited, um, something personal with you in it. Whether you have a product, that's great, take a picture with it. If not, like I said, do something really cute and exciting like, oh my God, take a picture and say, I'm so excited. I've just launched my Perfectly Posh business. I love these products. I'm so excited about this. Use your own words. I'm just giving you an example. Um, but... 
I am so excited to have joined this company. I'm launching my business. I would appreciate your support. You can um, say you can check out my website here and please let me know if there are any products you would like to try. And you can get samples to them as soon as you get your kit. So you want to make an announcement because you want people to know that you're posh. That should grab some excitement. That will get people asking you questions about it. You can let them visit your website. You can start, you know, you may even have people that are going to start reaching out to you because they want to do a party. But you want to make sure that they know that you're posh. So those are some things that you can do to start off. Um, now, within those couple of days, your kit's going to arrive. So once your kit comes, you're going to have this handy dandy little tool called the polka dot guide. Uh, this polka dot guide is kind of like your posh Bible. It's going to walk you through all of the important things that you need to know about posh. So I'm going to quickly go through that here in just a second so that we can hit on some important points. Now do know that as soon as you sign up, you have a website. So you can start taking orders like from the minute that you sign up. So that's why I want you to make that announcement to everyone that you've joined Posh because as soon as you as soon as they know they can go on your website and you can start getting orders from day 1. You can get a paycheck as much as a couple days after you start Posh. Like how exciting is that, right? You want to make that kit money back as soon as you possibly can. So make sure that you're sharing with others that you're Posh. Now when you go out and about Maybe you don't have your kit yet. Maybe you don't have any samples. Maybe you don't have access to anything. But you can be telling people. You can be letting them know, oh my gosh, I've, I've just joined Perfectly Posh. This is my website if you'd like to check it out. And as soon as I get my kit, I want to share some of these products with you. Just get out there and start getting the word out. That's what's important. And when you get your polka dot guide, this is going to come in your starter kit. It's going to talk to you about what's in your starter kit. You're going to have everything you need to get started in there product-wise. Don't feel like you have to have every product in the catalog. You don't. Everything that comes in your starter kit, it's going to be everything that you need. You've got your posh papers in there. You've got full-size products. You've got samples. You've got things that you can get out there and share posh with. Do you know that you could really just get out there and share posh with one product? You can take a tube of hand cream around and start sharing it with people. So don't feel like you have to have every product in the catalog. That's something you can build up to. As you earn perks through this business, you'll be able to get you some free products so that you can add to your kit and add to your inventory. And these are things that you can use to sample out of and things like that. So don't feel like you have to go out and invest a lot of money right away. I always tell everyone, work your business when you first get started. Get those orders from customers and things like that. Don't feel like you have to invest a lot of money in inventory. You want to make that money back for your kit. So, in your polka dot guide, you're going to see about your starter kit. Make sure you read about the ritual. That's a special mask just for you. Do that and go in there and upload your picture. It's super fun. That's also a great one to take a picture of once you've gotten your kit. Put a picture on Facebook of you. Oh my gosh, I got this special mask that only comes when you join Perfectly Posh. Get some attention with that. And I'm sure your team page is going to give you lots of pointers as well for social media and all kinds of things. But I will tell you from personal experience, the more that you put personal posts out, you with face masks, you using the products, your kids using the products, things like that, the more attention you're going to get. Just posting your website with a generic picture is not going to get as much attention as if you make it personal. So that is my social media tip for when you're first getting started. Now, going through the polka dot guide, I want to talk quickly about posh points. So when we join posh, when we take orders, not only do we get commission, which is awesome, we want to get our commission back, we can also earn perk points by using our referral link, and you'll learn more about this in the Posh Academy, but we also get something extra called Posh Points, which is so exciting because this is something extra for you. So do you really realize that Posh is actually like triple paying us every single time that we get orders? We're getting commission, we're getting perks, and we're getting Posh Points. Like how awesome is that? What company rewards us so well? It's very exciting. You get Posh Points, a point for um, every dollar that you sell. You can also get Posh Points based on if you earn our monthly award, which I'll 
quickly talk about later. Um, you'll get them for when you rank advanced through the ranks, uh, if you attend our dayaways and things like that. So look at this chart when you get your polka dot guide and learn about the posh points because it's so awesome. This is an extra site where you can go on. You can get everything literally from vacations to hotel stays to I've got a robot vacuum. I've gotten a blender. Um, I buy things for my kids for Christmas. It's really, really exciting to have this extra thing on top of your commission and on top of your perk points for free products and portal tools. So very exciting stuff. Make sure to check that out. Um, next thing on our polka dot guide is it does talk about the perk system. So it's going to tell you how you can earn those as a consultant and how your customers earn perks. And I'm not going to go through every little detail because you're going to have this polka dot guide in front of you very shortly. And you're also going to be learning a lot of stuff in the academy. But that perk points are amazing. Uh, your customers earn them when they order. They uh, Hostesses earn them extra while they when they host for you. And then you earn them when you're either the hostess of your own party or when you give out your referral link. So you'll learn more about that in the Posh Academy. Next we have our pay plan. So you'll definitely want to make sure you look at this chart. There's also a video on this in the Posh Academy, so they'll go over it in more depth. But this talks about all of the ranks. When you first join Posh, everyone starts as a protege, and then you can work your way all the way up to a Platinum Premier. So you look at this, look at the requirements, you'll learn it in the Posh Academy, but know that your first goal, your first big goal that you want to do is go pink as soon as possible. The reason I say that is because as soon as you go pink, you get a raise. You get to go to 25% commission and you will stay there, at least there. You can go up from there, but you'll always get at least that 25% commission. So the faster you get to pink, the more money you're going to make, and that's going to be awesome. Uh, you also get a really cool t-shirt. Um, it's during an incentive period, you can earn those prizes as well, which is really, really exciting. Um, we just started a new incentive period for those of you that are just joining us. So not only will you be earning the regular ranks, you'll be earning the incentive ranks, which that's really exciting too. So it's like double prizes for everything, not to mention your pay raises and all of that exciting stuff that comes with it. So why sure you get in the Posh Academy and learn all about the pay plan and study it in your polka dot guide because you want to know how you get paid. <laughs> Speaking of paid, make sure if you haven't already, um, to sign up for your ProPay account. You should get information on that as soon as you join Posh. When you log into your virtual office, it's going to prompt you to set up your Posh Pay account uh, with ProPay. You want to make sure that you do that because that's how you get paid. And if you don't set that up, then Posh can't give you your commission. So sign up for that. It's going to prompt you. It's called the Posh Pay. So make sure you get in there and you do that. If you have any questions, definitely um, get with your Upline or Premier. They can help you with that. There's also a customer service number for ProPay if you have any problems. Um, but we get a really cool Posh Pay card um, based on your rank. It looks like a Visa card, and it's just got perfectly posh on it and it gets attention all over town when you go out and use that card just think of all the doors that that's going to open it's going to be really cool so make sure to get signed up for your pay card so posh can pay you um, we get paid every week we get paid on Wednesdays so our pay period runs from Sunday to Saturday so when it cuts off Saturday night you'll get paid that following Wednesday you get paid every week and then once you start, um, either when you go pink, you'll get a little bonus. And then after that, when you start building a downline, you will get your downline and bonus pay on the 10th of every month. So you'll have that extra check every month as well. So weekly pay for all of your commissions every Wednesday. And once a month on the 10th of the month, you will get any bonus pay or downline pay, which is really, really awesome. Who doesn't want an extra payday, right? <laughs> so... This talks to you um, next in your book about commissions, which we just talked about, and making sure that you get your pro pay signed up. And then we talk about um, the different rank advancements. So again, start at like the pay plan, starting at Protege, going all the way up to Platinum Premier. Each rank has a prize that comes along with it. Um, you get posh points, you get cool certificates, pins, some of them t-shirts. Um, when you go Premier, you get an awesome robe. So you can read all about that and learn about that in the Academy as well. 
Um, then we have a cool awards program. And this is called the Monthly and Annual Award. And this is definitely something that I highly, highly encourage you, especially if you want to be a career posh person, um, to really, really strive for this because the monthly award sets you up for huge success every month. There are three ways that you can earn this, and it goes over them in the chart in your uh, polka dot guide. It also talks about this in the Posh Academy. But basically, the three ways that you can earn this is you can either sell $2,000 and add one new team member. That's you personally, so it's got to be someone that signs up directly under you. Or you can do $1,500 in sales and sign up two new team members. Or you can do $1,000 in sales and three new team members. Now, this all has to be done in a month in a calendar month, so all of January or all of February. Um, and every month that you hit that goal, those add up and go towards our bonuses. So every month that you earn a monthly award, you get 18,000 posh points. And then if you earn the monthly award three times in a posh year, so our posh years run from July to June. So starts in July, ends in June. If during that period you receive the monthly award three times, you get a $500 bonus. Isn't that awesome? It gets better. So if you get the monthly award six times, so that's you know six times in a year, you get a $1,000 bonus. Yes, it's true. And wait for this. If you get a monthly award nine times in a posh year, you get $2,000, $2,000 bonus, and they award this to you with a paid for trip, and you get it in cash, and you they take you shopping, and it's amazing. I have earned it the past three years, and there's nothing like holding $2,000 in cash and just being spoiled like that. So you earn this by doing nine monthly awards. So this is something extra. You know how I told you earlier that Posh, you know, not only awards us with commission and with perks and with Posh points, they also reward us almost every time that we promote, we get some kind of award, whether it's certificates, pins, Posh points, all of that. But then on top of that, when you earn these monthly awards, you get even more Posh points and you can get cash bonuses. Like this company loves to reward us and it's amazing with working your business it's just so rewarding. So I really highly encourage you to go for this. Um, I really, really think that the reason, well, I know that the reason that I've been so successful with Posh is because I've earned so many of those monthly awards and that set me up for building my team. That's set me up for getting my sales. So I highly, highly recommend that you do that and that you really strive for that because it's so well worth it. Um, the next page talks about our Posh Pinnacle Club, which I am honored to be a part of. The Pinnacles, um, we are a group, kind of like a sounding board for Posh. We meet up twice a year. Um, that's about to go to once a year. Um, we meet with Ann and Andrew. We have a retreat. We talk about a lot of things. We help train. Um, we go around and we just really try to help Posh grow as a company. And so I'm very honored to be a part of that club. Um, now we're going to talk about our quick start program, which is your props. So we talked about that a little bit in the beginning when I was talking about getting into the academy. So we have, you have your 15, your 30, your 60, and your 90 day props. And they're all outlined for you in your book. Um, they also are, you're going to learn about them in the academy. So your first goal when you first start in your first 15 days, you want to get in there and get the academy going because you want to get through day 15 done by your day 15. And you also want to pair that with your sales goal of $200 in sales. So in your first 15 days, if you get $200 in sales and you get through day 15 done in the academy, you get an awesome uh, Posh Academy, Prep Academy bag, which hey, that's awesome. You're going to need bags because you're going to have stuff to carry around. You're going to need stuff for your catalog and stuff to put your products in. So I'm telling you, a posh girl can never have too many bags. You're going to need it. So go ahead and earn it because it's free. So then your next goal after that is your 30-day goal. 
So in your first 30 days, if you do $500 in sales and get your videos done, so keep always do those videos, get day through day 30 done on your videos, then you're going to receive perks. So you will get 3,000 perks for doing your sales of 500 and you'll get an additional 3,000 perks for completing your videos. So how awesome is that? That adds up to a total of $60 value in free products and portal tools. So you can redeem those perks on products if you want to get products to add to your inventory to for your kit, to, you know, when you're showing people stuff, you'll have more stuff or you can use it towards anything in the portal. So maybe you want to get you a cool posh hat or posh t-shirt or a tablecloth or more catalogs, anything you want, more samples. So you can redeem it on all of those things, which is awesome. So the great thing about these prop awards too is they are cumulative. So that first $200 you get when you're in your first 15 days, that carries over into your 30 day props. So if you hit your 15 day with the 200, for your 30 day props, you really only have to do an additional 300 to total the 500, which is awesome. So they all are cumulative. So it's not that you have to reset that every time. Um, they all tie into each other and they all accumulate together. So in your day 60 goal, so this is 30 more days. Again, your anything you've done in your 15 and 30 day counts towards your 60 day as well. You wanna make sure you've done through day 60 in the prep academy and then you your 60 day goal is to get a thousand dollars in sales and add one team member so when you do that when you reach that goal you'll receive an additional six thousand perks for your academy and then another six thousand perks for hitting that sales goal of a thousand dollars and adding one new team member so together for the 60 day props that equals hundred and twenty dollars value of more free stuff on top of that sixty dollars you already got earlier for your 30 day props so then you can take that hundred and twenty dollars and get a few more products for your kit to add so you can show people and have testers or maybe you want to get something for yourself or for your kids. Um, you can get some more catalogs, business tools, or you can just save them for later. Whatever works best for you. You also get a certificate and you'll get a pen. Um, lots of fun, fun stuff here. So in your 90 days, Again, your 15, 30, 60, anything you've already sold up into that point, everything you've already done counts towards your 90 day as well. So if you're hitting all of these props regularly, it's going to be just another $500 from your 60 day props. A total of $1,500 in sales and a total of three team members. Okay, so when you hit that, you get 9,000 perks. 9,000 perks for doing your videos. Make sure you're done with your videos through day 90. And then also you'll get 9,000 more perks for getting that sales goal of the 1,503 recruits. That equals $180 of free stuff. $180 on top of the 120 that you got last time, on top of the 60 that you got before that. That is a lot of stuff and that really adds up and that's really going to make you so successful in your business because if you have all of that stuff for free, think of all the extra samples you can get for free, the extra catalogs, you can get you a cool t-shirt, uh, tablecloth, all the stuff that you need. When I first got started, we didn't have this exact same uh, prop program, but we did have something similar, and I earned those, and I did not have to buy hardly anything in my first several months with Posh, so I was making a profit in my business from the very, very beginning. Uh, in my very first party, my launch party, I earned not only my kit money back, but a lot more money, and then I also earned my props, which I took and bought more samples and testers and all of those kinds of things. Got my tablecloth and all of that. And then at my 90 day props, like with you all, you also can earn business cards in your car decal. So I really didn't have to buy anything and I was able to actually take that profit and actually have money to pay bills 
from the very beginning. And that's what I recommend that you all do. Work on those props so that you can get all of these things for free so that you don't have to pay, pay for all of these. Between getting your kit and getting all of this, you won't have a lot of other business tools or anything that you have to buy. And so you'll be making a profit from the very beginning, which is what we all want, right? We want to make a profit as soon as possible. So really aim for these props because it's free stuff. It's free stuff for your business. And why would you not want to do that, right? So I mentioned launch party. So this is something you're going to want to do also. You're going to learn about this again in the Prep Academy. I keep saying Prep Academy, Prep Academy, Prep Academy. <laughs> All right, I think I've gotten that drilled into everyone's head, right? Prep Academy. Okay, your launch party. So you've made your announcement on Facebook that you're posh. You're doing your videos. You're going through the polka dot guide. You're reading your catalog to make sure you're getting to know your products. And then one more thing I want to add that I haven't that I forgot to mention. When you get that starter kit, use those products. Those products did not come to you in that starter kit to just sit there and look pretty. They do look pretty, but you got to use them. Okay. So make sure for anything that comes in a tub, like your body butters, your scrubs, that you're using a spoon or a little popsicle stick works great, um, a little spatula, anything. Keep those products sanitary and scoop you a little out and try everything. Try everything. Now, you don't have to do it all on the first night, but you do need to try those products. Because the more you try these products, the more you experience these products, then you're going to be able to talk to them about people. Talk to them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Talk to people about them. So you're going to want to try everything. Take your kit. It's there for you to try. Whether, whatever you got in there. If you got shampoo and conditioner, wash your hair with it the next morning. Give it a try. See what you think. Use those body butters. Use those scrubs. Really, really try your products. You want to try as many things as possible because then you're going to be able to tell people about them when they ask you. So take that kit, try those products while you're trying those products. Take some pictures. You got a face mask on, take a picture. You're using a hand cream, take a picture. I'm huge on doing these things because this draws interest. Post that picture on Facebook, on Instagram, do a Snapchat. Show people how fun your products are and oh my gosh, I'm, I just got my starter kit and I'm trying my new face mask tonight. I'm trying the I'm turning blueberry. Check it out. My face is blue. Do something fun, okay? Just me. Just the more you're getting out there and the more people are seeing things and they're seeing it's fun, then you're going to be drawing more interest. And people are going to ask about these products. And if they see someone that is you, that is their friend or their family member, and that you're having fun and you're loving this product and you're raving about it, then they're probably going to want to try it too. I mean, think about it. When you see your friend post something about, oh my gosh, look at my eyelashes from this great mascara. What do you want to do? You want to run out and try that mascara, right? I mean, I know I do. Or if you see your friend say, oh my gosh, I just got this, you know, really cute pair of earrings. What do you all think? It's natural for us to say, oh, she likes those. Those are cute, man. I want to try that too. So when they see you trying this cool face mask or raving about this new hand cream or lip scrub or whatever it is, what are they going to want to do if they see you raving about it and you're someone they know and someone they trust? They're going to want to try it. So make sure you experience the products and then show yourself experiencing the products. Now we're all comfortable at different levels with social media. To do a picture might be really out of your comfort zone. So try it. Just try it. I promise it gets more comfortable. And then the more comfortable you get, when you can start doing videos and all this in the future, that's going to be huge too. But one step at a time, okay? At least share something. So experience your products so that you can share them with others. So get that kit. Experience your products. That's going to be one of the best ways to get to know them. All right, so now um, there's a brief section in your polka dot guide about policies and procedures. There's also something that goes over that in um, the Prep Academy. I'm not going to go over policies and procedures tonight. Um, that is a lot more stuff <laughs> than we want to cover tonight. Um, the Posh Portal, I mentioned that. That is the part of our... Uh, where you can go uh, and shop for your catalogs, anything that's a business tool. You can get t-shirts and sample stickers and brochures and all of that fun stuff. So go check out the Posh Portal and don't, again, don't feel like you have to get all this stuff right away. Uh, your kit is going to give you what you need to get started and I recommend 
to use those perks that you earn from the prep academy to get your portal stuff because that is stuff that's what it's intended for you know get that to get your extra catalogs use those perks to get your extra sample packs and all of those types of things so that you don't have to put a lot of money into your business right in the beginning you want to share you want to get out there and get sales but you don't want to be pouring money into your business if you don't have to so earn everything that you can for free so as you go through the Prep Academy and as you're in your team page and as you're working from with your upline, she's going to talk to you about all the different ways that you can share Posh. I've talked to you briefly about um, sharing on social media. And then I was going to talk to you now about getting a launch party set up. You want to do that as soon as you possibly can. Uh, some of you choose to just do an online launch party. party. Some of you choose to do an in-home one. Uh, some do a little of each. Whatever fits your lifestyle, whatever fits you know what you can do then that is what you can it's totally up to you this this job this company is flexible and it's all about what you can do with it so I chose to do a launch party uh, at my home and I'm really glad that I did I did a two-part launch party um, I have a lot of friends that stay at home during the day so I did a daytime session from like 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then I did an evening session for all of my friends that work from around 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So I offered, picked, picked a day and I did a two-part. And I'm really glad that I did because I feel like that was a huge success because there were so many more people that were able to come. Some came in the morning because they were staying at home. And, you know, the moms that stay at home, they don't want to come out in the evenings. They want to be home with their family. Uh, but then my friends that were working, they could stop by after work in the evening. So it went really, really well. And for your launch party, it doesn't have to be really extravagant. All I did was I set a couple of my scrubs up. Actually, back then, I think I only had one or two by the sink. Um, we scrubbed our hands. We did a quick hand cream. We did a quick lip scrub. And then we went and we played in a couple body butters. And I just let everybody really just try some of the products and told them what Posh was. Um, I made it very casual. I was in there mingling with them. I didn't sit people down and do a big presentation. I did it as a an open house, come in, stay for a few minutes, you know, try some of these products. I'll talk to them about it. It went very, very well. And I promise you, it's very casual and low key. Anyone can do this um, for a launch party. Don't feel like you have to be someone that stands up in front of this big group of people and gives this huge presentation or anything like that. If you can stand at the sink and help people scrub their hands and point them in the direction of the hand creams and things like that, that's all you need to do. And they know that you're new. So again, if you have, if they have a question that you don't know the answer to, just tell them you'll find out. And whether you find out then by you know getting on your team page and asking that question, or whether you text your upline or whatever works better for you and for them, um, just get that answer for them. But don't feel like you have to know everything right away. But I highly encourage doing a launch party uh, in person in your house or something like that if you possibly can, because then more people can actually experience the products and the more posh that you get on people then the better it's going to be now if online is all that you can do and you need to do it that way then you can of course mail samples to people there's all kinds of things but you're gonna learn more about this in the prep academy you're gonna learn more about this in your team pages uh, learn about it from your uplines and also the polka dot guide and all of that goes through those a little bit as well so you've got your online parties your home parties you've got portable parties where you can just make up little sample packs and catalogs and send them out with hostesses that way this uh, business really is flexible there's lots and lots of avenues and lots of different ways that you can do things you've got the power of social media now um, there's just lots of ways that you can really grow this business but for now, I really highly just recommend that you get in the Prep Academy, that you study the catalog, that you go over your polka dot guide, make sure that you're experiencing and trying all of the products that you have that you can so that you can share them with others. Always keep a posh product on you. You know, keep a hand cream or something, a lip scrub, something in your purse at all times. So when you have the opportunity to share with someone, just pull that tube of hand cream or that lip scrub out. It doesn't have to be a lot of products. Just share one thing with them and you never know where that will lead. So check your email. Get in the Prep Academy. Make sure you're in your team pages. Um, set up a launch party. Get that going with your upline. And experience your products and always have products with you to share 
And these are the things that are going to set you up for lots of success. So I just want to tell you that we're really excited that you've joined us. Welcome to Perfectly Posh. Know that you've joined an amazing company. You've got lots of great support. Never hesitate to reach out. We're so glad to have you and rock it out.